The idea that the King of Morocco has a love interest in the Queen of Spain is fascinating enough, but what might be more intriguing is the nature of that interest. Jewels always raise suspicion. Perhaps Princess Leonor and Prince Malay share an unrequited love, but things which might affect their wedding. Do you want to know what is what? Let's take a sneak peek into their relationship in today's video. Princess Leonor, 14, is the daughter of King Felipe VI of Spain and Queen Letitia of Castile and Leon. She was born in the region of Asturias in the northwest of the country. For as long as King Felipe and Queen Letitia could produce a son, Princess Leonor's status was in threat. If that had happened, Leonor's place in the line of succession would have been demoted until she was no longer even regarded as a princess. A royal daughter who does not have the right to inherit the throne is called an infanta, which is a title she would be granted. Her 12-year-old sister, known as Infanta Sofia, is a good illustration of this. There is little chance of any more royal children being born at this time. Therefore, Princess Leonor has started preparing for her future position as queen. Surpassing all expectations, she was awarded Spain's highest accolade, the Golden Fleece, for her efforts. Moulay, who will turn 16 this year, is the heir apparent to the throne of Morocco and is the son of King Mohammed VI. He's regularly seen wearing very fine suits as the one he wore when he met Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their royal visit last year. When he's not seen wearing the traditional Moroccan garb known as Jalabas, he's usually seen wearing these suits. The Crown Prince has, throughout the course of the previous several years, begun to undertake royal tasks while simultaneously pursuing his studies. This trend has continued throughout the entirety of his reign. It is said that he was the youngest participant at the One Planet Summit, which took place in France in the year 2017. He took the baccalaureate examination during his senior year of high school when he was a candidate for graduation. In addition to this, it is stated that he's one of the wealthiest teens in the entire globe. Furthermore, he has a younger sister who goes by the name Princess Lala Khadija, and she's 12 years old. Spanish daily El Español published the first item in May 2021 that hinted at a romantic tie between the Crown Prince of Morocco and the heiress of Spain. After this, the El Español daily cited several sources saying that the royal houses of the two neighboring nations had a strong bond due to their shared history and proximity. On August 1st, King Felipe VI and Queen Sofia of Spain visited the Cartua de Valdemosa. With their daughters, the Princes of Asturias and the Infanta Sofa, they struck their typical pose every summer. They made use of the opportunity presented by their trip to Valdemosa that first afternoon of August. Before today's news conference, the four members of the royal family hadn't been seen together in any official capacity since arriving in Mallorca. Grading the regional officials at the Almudaina Palace, Felipe VI kicked off the usual flurry of public events that accompany the King and Queen of Spain on their summer break. However, this royal family's hangover from their usual summer accommodation has consequences that no one saw coming. There was a lot of interest in the Princes of Asturias, heir apparent to the Spanish crown. Wearing a short, strapless dress in a pastel pink hue, she attracted attention to her unique jewelry, which spelled out the world love in Arabic. At that time, inquiries and speculations regarding the royal family and its associates skyrocketed, as reported by Periodista Digital. It's well known that Leonor was quite close with a young Brazilian man, someone who was a year older than her, a young man. Upon their return from Wales, they stopped to snap a photo and the princes recognized the Brazilian youngster in the background. Whoever gave it to Leonor must really care about her, but maybe it was a boyfriend or something. Some sources PD interviewed deemed the theories to be malicious, but it's likely that the message is meant for Moulay Hassan, the son of King Mohammed VI and heir to the Moroccan throne, the young man who supposedly presented the necklace to his royal girlfriend. Perhaps, but the cliches of the theories imply that the message is meant for Moulay Hassan. Is this all just idle speculation and rumors, or is there more behind it? Periodista Digital found that articles and blogs that claimed Princess Leonor's message of love was meant for Mohammed VI's son or daughter were not credible. They do not, however, completely dismiss the idea. The Spanish-language news outlet El Español recently compared the two heirs, claiming that they shared a similar spirit. Whether or if the two have had any private online encounters is unknown, though. The princes of Asturias and Prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco had more in common than meets the eye. Two and a half years separate the births of these two people, yet they're both first in line to succeed to the thrones of their respective countries since they're the firstborn children of kings. Beyond their shared dynastic destiny, though, there's something that quickly binds these two young royals, despite their vastly dissimilar upbringings. 
an unexpected alliance that goes beyond years of research on the public behavior of princes, some complex data, and expert opinions from the Spanish and Alawite royal families. Leonor and Malay's mother likely had some impact on the way they grew up and the way they treated and talked to one another. Reliable local journalists who have written extensively about the first Alawite family have said things like, the figure of the sovereign's ex-wife is crucial in both the personal and institutional decisions taken by his son. It is speculated that the two heirs secretly spoke with one another via instant messaging applications, away from the prying eyes of snoopers who may have been watching their every move. Not so long ago, El Espanol put out the hypothesis that the two are, in many respects, analogous to soulmates. At first glance, it might not seem like the princes of Asturias and Prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco have much in common, but there are really quite a few parallels between the two. It was mentioned in the story that appeared in the Spanish newspaper that despite the fact that they had been born 2.5 years apart from one another, they were both destined to become rulers. Those who are well-versed in the history of the royal dynasties of Spain and Morocco are of the opinion that Leonor and Moulay Hassan draw a lot of cues from their mothers. It has been reported by Moroccan media outlets that are connected to the royal family that Lala Salma's opinion plays a significant role in both the personal and official choices that are made about her son Malay. These choices can be either related to Malay's personal life or to Malay's official duties. After a photo of the Spanish princes wearing a necklace that read the Arabic word hub, which means love, went viral on the internet, Online sources have once again weighed in on the possibility of a future reunion between the two royals, Moulay Hassan and Leonor. The photo was taken after the internet's attention was drawn to the fact that the princess was wearing the necklace. The one in question depicted the Spanish princess with the aforementioned jewelry. Periodista Digital's report that the necklace worn by Princess Leonor during her family's visit to the Carthusian monastery in Valdemosa may have something to do with a courtship between her and Moulay Hassan, the Crown Prince of Morocco, fanned the flames of speculation that were already present. The Carthusian Monastery is located in Valdemosa. According to the magazine, the necklace may be Princess Leonor's means of communicating with Moulay Hassan. This was reported to be the case. According to Periodista Digital, sources at the Royal Palace of Spain did not contradict the account, which helped the even broader dissemination of the urban legend. Additionally, the Spanish tabloid suggested the possibility that the necklace included some kind of secret message relating to the prince's prior relationship. People and social media continued to discuss the speculations, with many of them wondering what the future would be like if Moulay Hassan and Leonor got married and their union created meddling in politics. And that's all for the video today. If you like what you saw and would want to see more content like this, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.